you know what? I've got a cold. I tell you, my nose is running like a glass below his arse, eh? And I'd only been in here about 10 minutes, and a copper burst in the dressing room. And I, of course, thought he was a stripper. And they were so rude and so aggressive. And when I came out on the stage there behind me, they were all wearing, the place was here, and they were all wearing rubber gloves. And of course, I said, oh, good, if you come to do the washing up. The police raid on the Royal Vauxhall Tavern in 1987 was symptomatic of decades of police witch hunts against the LGBT plus community. They raided our bars, clubs, saunas, even private birthday parties. They arrested same-sex couples for merely kissing, cuddling or holding hands. And I was called a lascivious act, which to tell you the truth, I was delighted about. We had the Chief Constable of Greater Manchester, James Anderson, saying that gay people were, quote, swirling around in a cesspit of their own making. He gave a green light to police persecution of our community. Well, police have apologised all around the world for the behaviour those years ago, and I think it's about time that the British police did the same thing, and it was just a homophobic act. By 1989, the number of gay and bisexual men convicted of the consenting offence of so-called gross indecency was almost as great as in 1954-55, when male homosexuality was totally illegal. And past injustices often cross my mind, and this has always been one of them. Just the bloody cheek of them. It was, it was disgusting. It was just offensive. You know, we were being treated like animals, rubber gloves. If the police say they've changed, they need to show it. And showing that they've changed begins with acknowledging the past wrongs. It means the police should apologise. Pure homophobia, that's what it was. So apologise, because I know where you are. <laughs>